Welcome to a magical exploration of the Harry Potter universe, where fan theories abound like golden snitches waiting to be caught. Join us as we delve into the top 10 most compelling theories that have enchanted fans and spark countless discussions across the globe. From hidden prophecies to mystical connections, these theories offer new perspectives on J.K. Rowling's beloved series. Number 1. Dumbledore is Death One of the most captivating fan theories draws parallels between Dumbledore and the character of Death. From the tale of the three brothers, in the tales of Beetle the Bard. According to this theory, Dumbledore represents Death himself, who bestows the deathly hallows upon characters who parallel the brothers in the tale. The Elder Wand, which cannot be defeated, is passed on like the wand in the tale, leading to Dumbledore's orchestration of events that guide Harry towards facing Voldemort. This theory adds layers of depth to Dumbledore's enigmatic character suggesting that his actions throughout the series are part of a larger plan to ensure Voldemort's eventual defeat. It explores themes of fate, destiny, and the balance between life and death within the wizarding world. Number 2. Ron is a time-traveling Dumbledore In a more whimsical vein, some fans speculate that Ron Weasley might be a disguised version of Dumbledore, sent back in time to guide Harry and his friends. This theory is based on the uncanny similarities between the two characters, including their love for sweets like lemon drops, a fondness for chess, and their allegiance to Gryffindor House. While this theory is more playful than serious, it showcases fans' creativity and their desire to uncover hidden connections between characters across different generations in the wizarding world. Number 3. Neville Longbottom is the Chosen One Another thought-provoking theory challenges the interpretation of the prophecy regarding Voldemort and the Chosen One. While Harry Potter was marked by Voldemort as his equal, some fans speculate that Neville Longbottom, Harry's classmate and fellow Gryffindor, could also fulfill the prophecy's conditions. This theory posits that Neville, like Harry, fits the criteria outlined in the prophecy born at the end of July to parents who defied Voldemort three times. It raises intriguing questions about the nature of destiny and choice within the wizarding world, suggesting that either Harry or Neville could have been destined to confront Voldemort. Number 4. Harry and Voldemort are two halves of the same whole. Building on the idea of parallels between Harry Potter and Voldemort, this theory explores the concept that the two characters represent opposing sides of a shared identity. Harry, known for his compassion, bravery, and selflessness, is contrasted with Voldemort's cruelty, ambition, and obsession with power. Some fans speculate that Harry and Voldemort are connected in a deeper metaphysical sense, reflecting the duality of human nature and the choices that define individuals. This theory delves into themes of identity, choice, and the blurred lines between good and evil within the wizarding world. Number 5. Draco Malfoy is a Werewolf This intriguing theory suggests that Draco Malfoy, Harry's rival throughout much of the series, might secretly be a werewolf. Supporters of this theory point to Draco's physical appearance in Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince, where he appears pale and drawn, resembling the symptoms of a werewolf transformation. While there is no conclusive evidence in the books to support this theory, it exemplifies fans' fascination with hidden depths and untold stories of secondary characters in the Harry Potter universe. Number 6. Harry is Immortal Inspired by the events surrounding the Resurrection Stone, and the Deathly Hallows, some fans speculate that Harry Potter gained a form of immortality through his encounter with death in Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows. This theory suggests that Harry's journey and his acceptance of the Hallows bestowed upon him a longevity beyond a normal wizard's lifespan. This theory raises profound questions about the nature of mortality and the consequences of Harry's choices throughout the series. 
It explores themes of legacy, sacrifice, and the enduring impact of Harry's experiences on the wizarding world. Number 7. The Hogwarts Houses Represent the Four Elements Drawing on symbolic interpretations, this theory aligns each Hogwarts house, Gryffindor, Hufflepuff, Ravenclaw, and Slytherin, with the classical elements, fire, earth, air, and water. Gryffindor embodies the fiery traits of bravery and courage, while Hufflepuff represents the grounded qualities of loyalty and hard work. Ravenclaw's association with air reflects its emphasis on intellect and creativity, while Slytherin's ties to water symbolize ambition and cunning. This theory enriches the symbolic meanings behind each house and their respective traits, deepening our understanding of Hogwarts' rich history and lore. Number 8. The Dursley's treatment of Harry is due to a Horcrux effect. This intriguing theory proposes that Harry's difficult upbringing with the Dursleys is influenced by the presence of Voldemort's soul fragment within him, a Horcrux. Voldemort inadvertently transferred a piece of his soul into Harry when he failed to kill him as an infant, creating a connection that subtly affects those around Harry. According to this theory, the negative energy emanating from the Horcrux influences the Dursley's treatment of Harry, contributing to the hostility and neglect he experiences during his formative years. It sheds new light on the psychological and emotional implications of Harry's connection to Voldemort. Number 9. The Elder Wand Recognizes Its True Master In Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows, the Elder Wand, one of the Deathly Hallows, plays a pivotal role in the final confrontation between Harry and Voldemort. This theory suggests that the wand's allegiance is not only to its possessor, but also to the person it recognizes as its true master, a concept rooted in wand lore and the wizarding world's magical traditions. This theory invites fans to reconsider the nature of power and responsibility associated with wielding such a potent artifact. It explores the consequences of possessing the Elder Wand and the ethical dilemmas faced by those who seek to control its formidable abilities. Number 10. Harry and Hermione should have ended up together. The final theory challenges the canonical pairing of Ron Weasley and Hermione Granger by proposing that Harry Potter and Hermione should have been romantically involved instead. Supporters of this theory highlight Harry and Hermione's deep emotional connection, shared experiences, and mutual understanding throughout the series. While J.K. Rowling has affirmed her choice to pair Ron and Hermione, this theory continues to spark debate among fans about the nature of relationships, friendship, and the complexities of romantic entanglements in the wizarding world. And there you have it, 10 captivating Harry Potter fan theories that have ignited imaginations and inspired spirited discussions among fans worldwide. Whether they delve into hidden prophecies, explore characters' hidden identities, or reimagine the wizarding world's fundamental truths, these theories reflect the enduring appeal of J.K. Rowling's magical universe. Join us next time as we continue to unravel the mysteries, magic, and marvels of Harry Potter and the wizarding world. Until then, may your spells be enchanting and your wands ever at the ready. Mm -hmm.